you not to fucking touch her without consent? Dude, that is age restricted. Instantly. Welcome to episode number 12 of the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast. Sorry I had to hear that, guys. We were just having a heated discussion about Arouse. something that happened on the weekend. I don't want to talk about it anymore, but Matt, you're in the wrong. Okay? that's what, that's. what I'm just going to leave it at that. How is everyone? I'm a bit tired, but hey, look, I'm here. I had some athletic greens. It's pepped me up a bit. I'm ready to go. We're doing some big weeks at the moment, eh? Fucking hell, can't we? are filming some fucking mm. shit, man. It's crazy. So much shit going on all at once. It's like a big fucking big fuck around. And since we're filming pranks again, we're all on edge. See? Oh. See how Matt flinched and Did shit? Did you think that was water? Yeah, I thought something was coming <laughs> Holy way. shit. See how on edge everyone is? We and have James here with us today. Jimbo He's- Johnson, James. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want a king hit him at the moment, hey, like that wig. Oh, oh. I can't look at you for longer than like three oh. seconds. Oh He's my being god! Bouncy. Oh, the cum was a whole good. new Jeez, world. Fucking mince was moving. Oh, so what's been going on? Well, I had some good news today on the health front. I went to the last cardiologist appointment, and uh, got oh, all- don't, dude, pump it, pump it. So Matt's just opened the cum bottle. It's, it's mint bottle. Your shirt's too tight to fucking I mean, wrap the around. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're yeah, the worst. It's on my hands. I'm just going to oh. wait for that to pass before I love we it. continue. Ooh. I was going to use this to cover my mouth, but I don't think I will. No, yeah. grab a clean one. Why has it got dirt all over it? Anyway. Oh, I doubt that's dirt. Anyway, let's um, let's let's get into it, eh? Sorry. Let's uh, leave sorry, that mint bottle. It's actually, it's risen, the smell, so I haven't had any yet. Hot air rises. <sighs> mm. Um, yeah, so cardiologist, all good news. He's even said, don't go back on the blood pressure medication. Try and go natural for oh, four sake. months and then come back. If it's still up, then I've got to go on the blood pressure medication. So that is the end of the heart saga for a while. Yeah, God, it got How scary. How fucking good is that? It got yeah. scary it for a bit, didn't it? Oh, that's, shit. That's yeah. so it's- crazy that they tried to force you into... Blood yeah, pressure I pills. couldn't believe the first card you and now it's not. was such a dumb cunt. I'm so oh, glad I, I went to get other opinions. But we anyway. should name and shame him. Yeah, Dr. Harrison, his name was. Oh, I was joking, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't Dr. Harrison. There's any, any cardiologist. Imagine if some Dr. Harrison had all these appointments cancelled tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, and then he house. went home and hit his wife because <laughs> of the financial stress because she has like a shopping addiction and he just comes home and just fucking hits her across the face. Fucking age restricted. <laughs> I'm just speaking in hypotheticals, Matt Brown, you Matt gotta drug, say that. drug dealer Brown with a nappy on. Gotta cunt. say that. Oh, there's been wedding plannings going on. The boys came to try on their suits on the weekend. Yeah. The Bucks is coming up. Mon had her hens party last weekend, which How's seemed she quite feeling well. Now? Oh, man, she's been down. She's been struggling to get out of bed. Is it, yeah, the come down for yeah, the yeah, like, yeah, so it's Wednesday now, and she's still feeling a bit down about it. So three days to recover from two days of partying. <sighs> wow. Dude, yuck. Yeah. Why oh, was it man. two days? Of partying, yeah. Well, you can't have a bucks or a hens you in have one like, day. Yeah, same as yeah. what we're doing. You have like like the the intimate group, and then you have the fucking all the fucking boys come around slinging fucking. Is it usually two sl- days? It never used to be. It it's, used it's a to, yeah. it's more of a modern thing. But I'm okay. fine with it. I want yeah. mine to be a week, actually three months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we should start a, now. Gla- a glass pipe in one room can't just Michael on his own for three <laughs> months. <laughs> it's He'd fucking love that. I will that. come for the first. Few few days dude <laughs> yeah. if you give me a golf course in Fortnite, i'm there oh that i, I just smelling it now yeah. oh, the right. sinking the mince bottle has now fucking gathered to james's nostrils <clears throat> um, but all in all if we really look back at the last two months how good is it now that marty's heart is fixed oh i have i've actually got us a celebration i got us a bag oh why are you looking at me because you bought her off you, you dressed up drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just sort of dismissed. Now you're all good. We just start fucking hitting it again. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, so <laughs> I have to still, I have to get this down. I've got four months to get it down or I do have to go on blood pressure medication, which isn't good for someone my age. So I still want to stick to this. But this month, it's going to be hard. we got Michael's birthday this weekend. 
I don't think we don't have to go hard. It's yeah, I'm not going to, but it'll be the first. It's over a hundred days sober now, 101 days right now. So I'm just going to try alcohol and see what fucking <laughs> try. happens. Yeah, try just alcohol. Gl- a bottle of wine. Just one, bo- one or two Dude. bottles and yeah, see yeah, what happens. We'll have a few beers. We yeah. might. But we could go to the casino. It's yeah. near the, the restaurant we're going to. Is near the casino. So hard to buy for now. Oh yeah, oh, so I thought hard. about yeah, the gift. About that? If you guys just got me cash, because then when I do want something, then I'll just get it. Yeah, that's true. I Michael guess. does like cash. Yeah, because mm. I'm right. broke at the moment. So that's that transferring some money. Yeah, <laughs> weddings are that's fucking so, expensive, man. That's so shit, though. That or like I was thinking of getting a um, Broncos four membership. iron, a four iron or a three iron, but like. Should we all pitch? Marty again? was yeah. genuinely pitching a Broncos yeah, membership. Yeah, fuck that, man. There's no <laughs> fucking way I'd ever use it. I got the text I, and I was like, yes. If, if I could go to like even the corporate box Broncos for free, where there's free dinner, free piss, even if Peter Sterling was there, I would say no. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Not if Peter, Peter Sterling, Sterling was there. He's yeah, he did that well. But he's, he's more a commentator, but he did play. Yeah, I would. Okay, I'd probably go if he was. He's, he's a lovely man. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's nice. bald. Yeah, I got hair. He used to play for Parramatta Eels. Mm. Dude, well, oh, NRL oh, trivia is fuck? improving. Yeah, yeah, how did you know? Yeah, that? Just guessed. That might be Matt vs. Michael themed <laughs> oh, NRL bro. trivia. Oh my god, that's not a bad topic, <laughs> that's bro. A terrible <laughs> idea. Yeah, Matt would suck. Surely you'd too. win that. I mean, that was Fuck a flaw that he, he just did. He hates it, but he knows it. So no, he, he knows what he hates. Ha- he knows he what he hates. He doesn't know anything about NRL. <laughs> he knows said, what he hates. I what was the name he said the other day? He combined like six different players. What was it? Like Wendell Locklear or something? It was like John Alomu. Oh, so it was like- ridiculous. He put like 15 different Broncos <laughs> players and somehow minced it into one name. Yeah. <laughs> Alpha Lengi is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. It feels right saying that shit. Um, but yeah, sorry. Now, we, last week you guys may have mentioned we cut out the who's a better brown and the horoscopes. And the horoscopes, says, we saw in the comments that there was quite a reaction. They want You guys want the horoscopes back. So we're going to do it this way. We think that maybe the horoscopes are the reason why we're getting age restricted. So if we don't get age restricted again this week without the horoscope, we may just have to die them down a little the bit the current podcast is not age restricted I think yeah I know the one that came out yeah. that doesn't have a horoscope in it yeah that hasn't been age restricted yeah, so and, we, and it's actually fine so, and there's no horoscope there's not going to be a horoscope this episode but next week I'll write one and we'll see if that one gets age restricted so no, I don't no, know you won't write one you'll find one from Matt that's, that's what safe. I meant that's what I that's, and yeah, I reckon that's what I we just get the consensual ones out out from Matt's story, yeah, but even so, I think just the just the way Matt speaks is just, and the things that he does is just very predatory. I don't know. Oh, I just feel like YouTube wouldn't want that on there. Tough words, you, you know. So I don't. So we'll see. So I don't want. I don't want the horoscopes to be like a dulled down version, so the the podcast doesn't get age restricted. I'd rather just not have one at all. Not read one. You're, Matt's you're out an at all. all or nothing type of guy. Yeah, because it then takes the fun out of reading them as well. If they're like PG, but we'll see what happens. So stay tuned and don't worry. We'll do our best to include them. We just may have to censor them a little bit. But everything Ugh. else remains. <laughs> and this we got, <sighs> we got fucking James. We got Matt verse Michael. We got fucking Tinder adventures, and we got some fucking oh. Tinder adventures. Oh. Holy shit. We got prank call. Everything's back and ready. Oh, and we're going to do some German or gibberish because we've seen a fair few comments. You guys want some German shit back. So let's fucking get in or it can't. Sponsors. <laughs> Michael has a business adventure. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. I want to discuss this. Now, I've asked the boys, but I thought what way to get you focused on something exciting? What way to get me focused on something? This could be a little passion project of yours. Yeah, because, you know, wholesome. It's like, fuck off, man. You know? <laughs> I'm not going to like this. So I reckon like... like Instead of putting all of the fucking eggs in the wholesome basket, me and you can start something called cantals. What? Exactly. Say it again. Cantals. Cantals. So you know what candles are, right? Yeah. And you know what they can do. They, yeah, they light up. Yeah. So me I, and you, I'll buy, okay, look, I'll buy the packaging, you buy the wax. Actually, I'll buy the wicks, you buy the wax, and we'll sell them. Candles. Cantles. Candles. So they're candles, but without the wicks. So they do not light. You just said you were going to buy the wicks. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to trick you. 
Then I don't have to buy anything. Boom, you just got his business bamboozled. <laughs> Smart. Good. Okay, look, I'll buy it. We'll split it 50 50. I'll buy half the wax. You buy half the wax. So they're candles that can't light. Why Beautiful would, candles. Why would we have candles that can't light? Because they're, they're called they're, cantles. They're cantles. They can't. Why, you would anyone, don't get why would anyone buy that? Opposites are always cool. Like people like fucking blue, then why, they're like. Why pink. do people buy candles? Why do people buy candles? For multiple reasons. Yeah, so well, they, these are like ones. candles for no multiple so, reasons. You know too. how you buy. Okay, you, look, this would be our fucking motto. You buy candles to light. You buy candles to not light. <laughs> to darken. <laughs> to dark. Are you in or you're not? And you use oh. candles during the day and you use candles at night. Candles are for the day. You get 10%. They still smell good. They still smell good. And they'll still smell good. They'll they'll smell smell good? good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You get 10% of the company. Huge scent. I don't know. It doesn't Toxic sound like that's fuck. something that's going to be successful. We split it 50-50, but you get 10%. Are you why why wouldn't it be successful, bro? It didn't make sense. No, we'll split, split the cost. Split it 50-50 and I get 10%. <laughs> yeah. Split the cost 50-50. <laughs> you get 10%. See, I was like down for a second and then you just Okay, we'll go 50-50 and everything. Are you in or you're not? You got, you got five seconds. You can or you can't. That's dumb. Well, let's explore the let's explore why you don't think it's successful. I want to know. Because people want candles at light. We'll make one one of the ones know. one of the can candles will smell like roses. Before candles were around, what did people do? People didn't go around thinking, "Oh, I want a waxy a thing that lights up." No. And you know what? I have I have a candle in my bathroom, and, and this is a true story. Up. I purposely don't light because it smells of fucking cinnamon, and my whole bathroom smells delicious. So never light it. And not to mention, it looks great. Too. It looks lovely. So glass cantles, cantles can just smell and look nice. And He's we can do one it. with just your ear, like ear waxes. Imagine well, that. All you the can kids have will love it. You can have sculptures of all your victims as as cantles. <sighs> all right, we'll talk about it later. And anyway. they can smell of the things that you did to them. And one will smell like roses. On to the sponsors. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Athletic Greens has been changing our lives since we first started taking it. It's got 75 vital key nutrients that you don't and can't get through through fucking eating your fucking shit dinners that you're fucking stuffing down you. Oh, don't have any time. I'll go through KFC drive through tonight. And then sit on the couch half fucking pissed and fall asleep at 9 p.m. You piece of shit. Have some Athletic Greens to counter all that crap so at least you don't die at 60. It might last at 65. Five. <laughs> athleticgreens.com slash fully actual get a free fucking travel pack it's a monthly subscription and they just and they just send you oh, and they just send you their product it's a powder you have it once a day you feel very good okay this is scientific shit it's joe rogan even raves about it it's legit we all have it mm. read the comments of the people who've bought it our whole office takes it now it's a fucking hit it's a fucking hit it wakes you up can't tell him michael i've had two days Woo! had two <laughs> feel much better i was really tired but now i'm like normal See? Oh, I got the little fairies. You know the little fairies yeah, that you yeah, get? Yeah, yeah, From that yeah, scream yeah, that yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it again. I want to try it. I can't do that. You try it. Try it. Matt, have a go. I want Matt to have a go. Please, Matt. One. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Do it. Woo! 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 It's all right, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. That's what Athletic Greens gave us the energy to do <laughs> that's that. That's what it does to your but body. That's Matt didn't have any, so that's why he did have some. Oh, okay. Sorry. How dare you? That's why he did it well. Okay, yeah. I didn't did have someone, you had some, I had someone, Matt. Anyway, athleticgreens.com slash fully actual, all right? Get in on it. Sorry. Fuck, man. Manscaped. Look how black and gross and hairy my fucking legs are. Look at that. Then with one sweep <laughs> of Matt's Manscaped lawnmower, all of the hair just falls to the floor that Matt has to clean later on. I cut my pubes. Boom. Look at that. 
so quick and effortless. I can use this in the shower and I don't feel like a fucking huge bag of shit who hates his fucking life, doesn't have any real friends or a partner, has no ambitions and is stuck in a job that he hates and in this routine that's going to guarantee an early death. So that's the main benefit. <laughs> Of manscaped. So if you want to go and feel like I'm feeling right now, I'm feeling more and more powerful as we go, right? All this fucking hair's fucking off and I'm fucking feeling better and better and I'm looking better and better and better. So go to their website, manscaped.com. Use our discount code, fully actual 20 for 20% off, cunt. Right, 20% off. They got all sorts of shit. Look at Michael right now. Look at what he's fucking doing. Is that thing even on, Michael? Oh, man, I got a G-spot. Michael's found a G-spot in his nose with a Manscaped product. Don't you understand, cunt? You're sitting there looking around. You fucking... Look at your belly. Look down at your fucking fat, fuck, hairy belly. Yuck. You think anyone's going to touch you? You don't want to touch you. So go to fucking Manscaped and fix that shit and start fixing your fucking life. God, you're pissing me off, cunt. Fully actual 20. 20% 20% off, you fucking cunt. Hairy shit. Shave it off and send it in. Cunt. Amen. Also for women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even And like, I'm pretty sure you can call it womanscape too. Look at this. Look, it's my legs nearly completely shaved in the space of 30 seconds. It's hot, Dude, man. I honestly love this shit. Do you know how annoying long nose hairs are? Oh, yeah. I get so pissed. Oh, by the way, guys, we now... Because we went to the PO box and we're pretty sure we've been sent some pubes. We now have a pube box. Oh, there's so many between your legs. Gather them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So the leg hairs I've just shaved off, I'm going to pop them in, start things off. Yeah. Also, guys, remember to send your pubes in. PO box 256 Tagum 4018, Queensland, Australia. This this is important. Because Matt sure has we have some. Yeah, not enough coming in. Are you excited about that? Look, it's begun. Matt it's like a, a hair transplant. Matt has agreed to glue these to his head. You're going to look like that. On no, the finale. No, I'm gluing them on the <laughs> cap that'll go on my head. So I'm what? gluing them to my head. It's stupid. No, no, yeah, you glue them to your head. Glue them to my head. Glue them to your head. You would slap the audience in the face. No, just gorilla glue. I don't care. I'm fucking against everything. Now. So what, you want to glue them to a hat on your head? Yep. Oh. Brown like hair piece. Fuck Brown, you. that is upsetting. To Look, you. I'll I'll eat some. I'll smoke some if you put care. some on your head. No. Oh, I'll, great I'll jam deal. Some, oh, what I'll about jam you? them up my ass. Give yourself if you a put mono brow. Anyway. I'll give myself a mono brow. Here. Oh well, I'll put some here if you do your head. Anyway, guys, just don't list. Don't let Matt put you off from sending your pubes in. Send them in. Uh, anyway, and we'll work on Matt. Right? It's only episode twelve. We've got another fucking twenty-eight to convince him. Because you are you are bald, Matt. I'm not fully bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look on my good on little fluffy. <laughs> my good on little fluffy puffy. <laughs> oh, I've had that right up your Ooh, ass. Yeah, I sort of like it. it smells cool. Anyway, um, we've James managed to organise to get the coin car fucking dragged back to the house. So we're going to do a final video with that. And we bought a fucking caravan that we're going to do some fucking sick content with. Shout out to the tow truck driver too. What? Oh, man, he was so cool and nice. Wasn't he a fuck? We had someone, just so you guys know, the tow truck driver was like the biggest dweeb of all 69 people in the world. (sighs) Yeah, he was hard work. We had some chick reach out on Instagram someone that works for whoever that company was and she's like hope the tow truck driver was nice to you guys why wasn't i don't know it wasn't she's just RSQ? like it's like she knew but i paid it forward i should have paid it backwards and i said yeah he was awesome you shouldn't have said that you yeah, should have said he was unbearable i know yeah but i was like i was in a what good a mood strange man. i just had athletic greens and i was oh, like oh fuck man it. i'm gonna be a kind person here yeah, and not like ruin his. Job. No, that's nice. Well done, Michael. You, Thank you. Should have gotten him fired. Like I was doing that. He I loves bourbon. That, remember? Yeah. Where have I put my fucking Ford mid? Because it's time. Floor. Floor. Oh, chile calole. <laughs> but yeah, so I made that all up. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very cool. There was line. no tow truck driver. I was so in that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's, oh. A, that's a serious, oh. serious lying problem you have. <laughs> yeah, really so hurting our trust, <laughs> really wearing it away. James is so invested. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it'll really backfire one day, our lack of trust in you. Oh. Really I genuinely backfire. congratulated you for paying it forward. I'll take that back. Fuck oh. you, Michael. It was actually, yeah, you've ripped Sorry. it backwards a long way. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to move right along. We haven't done this segment in a whole fucking season and a bloody bit. I'll tell you what, it's German or Geoburgish. German or Geoburgish. German or Geoburgish. Where I read out a real German sentence or a gibberish sentence, and these three lads have to guess if it was, in fact, German or fucking gibberish, brother. We read your fucking comments, brother, and we see you guys wanted this back, brother. So if you don't like this segment, let us know, brother. Michael, that is incredibly racist. That's what you were saying. No, that, Michael. I was saying it correctly. So brother, it's like you're making it. fun of them. Oh, it was the tone you did, brother. Oh, oh my God, dude. Please. Oh, Connor, that. maybe. Yeah, maybe. Cut yeah. that. That, Connor. Sorry. Jesus Christ. All right, boys, are you ready? There will be five German sentences or gibberish sentences. You must vote the loser, whoever gets the least amount right, gets has to get spoon. gets the wooden spoon by the other two. That's going to be me. I'm a newbie. Same spot. All right, here we go. First sentence. Fleisch mit Pappkleene. Yuck, man. That is so <laughs> fucking disgusting. Fleisch mit Pappkleene. Pappkleene? That is fucked. I reckon it's real and it's some. Do we have to say what it means? It says, I've got a fresh pipe and I'm going to clean it. And it's German. It's definitely German. He's trying to make it not German. I know that for back. I used to be German. I reckon it's real as well. And um, what's it mean? I don't know. The milk truck is arriving. Matt, God, so racist. Immediately racist. Sorry. Jim? Yeah, I, th I think it's real too. And I think it means Sorry. I scraped my bicycle spokes on the gutter. <laughs> You're all wrong. Oh. Fuck. That is, in fact, fucking nonsense. Yeah. Okay. German sounding shit. Pop cleaner. Pop cleaner. Pop cleaner. Uh, next sentence. <coughs> Meine Hufte ausrenken. Meine Hufte ausrenken. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to say that, that <laughs> that's German. And it's saying, my hooves are wet and cranky. <laughs> I hear it again. Meine Hufte ausrenken! I think it is German. And um, I'm going to say there's a boy over there. Oh, fuck. I, I think it's German too, but I'm tempted to say no because I was you guys led me astray last time. No, I'm going to say that it is. And it's uh, the te my teacher is speaking. <laughs> you are all correct. It is, in fact, German. But it doesn't mean what any of you said it means. No. Dislocate my hip. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So you're all on one point. Sentence number three. Wünsch nach Schmerzen beim Pferden! Yeah, no, it's not German. Wünsch nach Schmerzen bei Pferden! No, not German. <laughs> not can't be if that's Once German. more, Mark. Wünsch nach Schmerzen bei Pferden! He's too, oh, yeah. Fuck, it sounds like he is. Shit. Oh, I'm going to have to go. It's not. James? Yeah, I'm going to say it's German and it means the woman's breast has dislocated. James has gotten away with this one. It is, in fact, German. Oh, mm, yes. James <laughs> is in the lead. It means I wish pain to all horses. Wow. Oh, I thought there was something about a woman in there. That's fuck. I can't believe that was just the way he dragged the words sounded like it was <coughs> gibberish. All right, so James is on two, Matt and Michael on one. Sentence number four. <clears throat> Grank blät am umlauft. Oh man, that sounds. Grank blät am umlauft. Grank, grank, grank blät am umlauft. <laughs> I'm almost. Yeah, it's German. You're trying to be witch. It's a it's it, it's a spell in German, and it's to bring back Hitler. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe that he said that. No, it's, it's just yeah, what it is. Just don't, just don't. You play. You, you get us age restricted <laughs> no, every time. That's exactly. It's a spell to bring back Hitler. Um, I reckon it's not German. 
Mm. I'll say it's uh, feeding children ice cream. If it's not German, if it's not German, it doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You've always got children on your mind. So not German. So James. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it is German, and it means feeding children ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> It is nonsense. It oh. is complete and utter nonsense. I'm in trouble. Me I'm and Brown are in the lead. <laughs> oh, oh, Brown How many rounds on two has won. This is the last one. Shit, I've lost. I can't believe I'm going to get the fucking wooden spoon. <clears throat> Such a a shame. Shame. I'm not in the mood for pain <laughs> at all. <laughs> all right, final sentence. Brücker Schubfreckel! Brücker Schubfreckel! Freckel! Brücker Schubfreckel! You guys go first now. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Um, that's not German. That's not German. It is German. And it means, come home, mum. It's time for dinner. It isn't German. <laughs> it is yeah. fucking gibberish. Now, Michael Ooh. must get slogged on the ass. No, I go thigh. I can't do ass. <sighs> All right, guys. Don't hit my kneecap. <laughs> I get to hit Michael now. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go light, Mark. Look Martin. at that. Oh, look no. at that. Let me see how far up I can reach. I can reach the wall. That's a long way. Marty, wrist, wrist, yeah, yeah. flick it in. Think of all the, the pranks wrist. Michael did on you. Oh, no. Oh, Think you're kind of you said about your mama. I kind of fly. Oh, I'm scared. Wait, 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 what you get for not understanding my language. Oh, you broke it. Oh, oh, oh. I broke it on him. I broke it with a spoon on him. Yes. I broke it with a spoon on him. Oh my fucking god, dude. Dude, it was. Oh. Still going through this pain. German or German? German or German? German. Let us know if you want us to continue oh, that segment. Oh my god. Michael's yes. showing us his wound and it's immediately goose bumpy and purple. He killed the wow. butterfly. I just feel a little ass. Oh my god, dude. Still <laughs> that was my job just then. Still hurts. Watching that and then laughing. <laughs> oh. like, normally I'm like this. <laughs> that's oh, the face you job. have when you do it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, fucking hell. All right, let's move right along, eh? Well yeah, done, Michael. A shame. Let us come right back after this hugely intoxicating bong break. Go forth and suck down some smoke and Matt vs. Michael will be awaiting your return. <laughs> And this segment is where Matt and Michael compete against each other for the for the sacred, most important bottle of mints ever that took Matt nine months to make, and they can do with it whatever they want. It's a the relic. Winner, the, it's a hundred percent. It's an antique relic. They can do with it whatever they want. And the winner will be announced for the season finale. It's currently Fuck's sake. it's currently eight three to Michael. So Michael's got a massive, massive fucking lead. 8-3 to Michael. I'm not even going to try that hard today. This week's competition... You're probably in on this. <laughs> this week's competition is... Who is better at picking up chicks? Come on in, Jametti! Oh, 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 shit! Jametti! half hot. Jametti, yeah. <laughs> yeah. he'd be a hot tranny, man. <laughs> yuck. <laughs> Matt's saying yuck, but he's cock saying Look at yes. His fucking muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fit it really well. It's hard to be good as a guy. He looks like a fucking massive chick, eh? <laughs> Look at that if, a, if a chick was that fucking muscle, oh, he does so have a good butt. Look how happy <laughs> Bosley is that he's here. Look, he loves a bit of cross dressing. <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, 
All right, so you will each have one minute to chat up Jimetti. All right, sake, like we're at sucks. a nightclub. All right, Jimetti. So you've got sixty seconds. I'll time you, and then Jimetti will give you a fuck score out of ten. All right, you must try and woo Jimetti. You can use dance. You can use talk. You can use facts. You know, use your imagination. Be creative. And see what you can come up with, all right? I, this I is want, great practice. I want the approach. So I'm, I'm going to like sit sit here and I want them to come up to me in the bar. There you because go. that's the hardest part. There you right. go. And I'm, I'm taking this seriously. How are going to get the mic? You have to start with a dance. Is so Brown going first? You first. You're now moving this into something <laughs> that fits for you. What do I reckon? It's it's funnier. You don't need to make any fucking rules. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Jametti is uh, at a bar and he's sitting and she's sitting there. She just wants to have a fucking couple of cocktails with the girls and maybe get a cock up. I don't know. She'll see how she fucking feels. Yeah. But you got to work. She's you got to work. So she squats on that cock. Squats on that cock. Feel your skin splitting. Squat on that cock. Feel the cock split. So we're going to paper, scissors, rock to see who approaches Jametti first. Then it will start the timer. You'll have 60 seconds to woo Jametti and she will give you a fuck score out of 10, cunt. Whoever has the highest fuck score wins this week's round of Matt versus Michael. Paper, oh, scissors, rock now. I'm, okay. You might I don't know what I'm going to say. Here you go. Scissors, paper, rock. <sighs> scissors, paper, rock. Fuck! <laughs> This is how it will be. This is how it will go. It's okay. This is how it will go, Jamedi. You, you literally grab that so you could sit there in front of that. You dumb cunt. I'm explaining. I'm lose this, but you're dumb. His aggression is <laughs> turning me on right now. Wait, 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 wait. You got one right there. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just explaining. So you're gonna start from here. Yeah. Pretend you're dancing on dance floor, and you come. You see Jamedi. You walk over. Sixty second begins. Shut up. What are you gonna oh. say? Brown, Matt. Chicks, chicks don't like aggression. I don't know. Actually, I've got to get out of the male character. Too right. many might like aggression. No, so I'm going to start, for this to be fair, I'm going to start at level five interest out of 10. You know, because I feel like all girls are probably that at a bar, right? They'd start at sort of a level five and then you'd impress them and then they'd start going up the scale or you'd discuss them and they start going down the scale. So I'm going to start at a five for both of you. I'm single. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't just go and sit next to a woman. you got to approach. Oh, Matt, what that's, that's important. Start. That's a part, Matt. Are we not starting here? No. no. no I was no, saying, yeah. I explained it to you before, yeah, and then you were yelling you at me. You pissed me off with that. Because I'm going to be looking you up and down. I want to know if this is a man right, that so I Matt, want to give so Matt, seed. Maybe start with, like, a grooving a bit. You're grooving around. You want to woo this lady. <laughs> sure, you moves a bit. <laughs> and then make your way over during the dance, and then sit down, and then you can start talking to her, all right? Oh, all right, are you ready, Matt? You're Timer will start in five. How long's he got? One minute. Four. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hi. <laughs> Fucking hate going first. <laughs> hey. She doesn't know what you mean when you say that. I've lost this. I can't think of anything. <sighs> Matt, come on, Matt. You still got time, Matt. You're so a disgusting <laughs> looking as a chick. I can't even do it. <gasps> Matt, you are fucking this up. Yeah, really I'm out. Dude. No, Matt, try. I can't. Can we please start insane? again? Because I, like, I think he's mentally insane right now. I'm legit in character as a chick at a bar. I you can't can win it. this. It's Michael. You, you he's need gonna to try and be funny. He confidence. won't be that funny, and then you could win. You got to find your inner confidence. I got Brand. nothing. To, I don't know. I got nothing. Nothing came to me. <laughs> oh, we please, Brown. Can you at least get up and groove a little bit? <laughs> no. Just a little, small if, you're, of if your approach is to to uh, sit down and then talk gibberish and then insult them, you're going to be single <laughs> until you're 80 comes. Time. Yeah, I'll leave it there. Oh, oh it's Brown. so disappointing. Maybe we should just make Michael go first from now on. Uh, it's just, I don't know. Because Michael oh. doesn't even have to do anything. He just has to be semi-nice now. Because he's going to win. I just. I, got, I went out of character because like, I went, hey, look, let's look at this. I went out of character at 30 seconds because... I think Matt could get 30 seconds to to fix that. And no, I think that would be no, fair because so I was I'm out over of character. It. I'm over the smooth 30 line. seconds. This is, this is for the mince bottle. Yeah, I'll just go to the and next And the one. rings. Matt. That's all right. Next. See that. What you just did then, mate. That, like, I wish we could replay that because he was like, nah, I'll be right. Oozed fucking confidence, cunt. And I got wet. That was hot. 
That if you brought that good. into the scene, I you got could wet be, too. You could be uh, Michael. Show w, him how yeah? it's done, but don't hold back just because this because Matt didn't try. Yeah, you could both lose if you both repulse me. All right. Okay. Your time right. starts in three, two, one, go. Very attention grabbing though. There's no this way work, you wouldn't look at that. Before. There's no way you wouldn't look at that at a bar. And the speed is actually quite impressive. Oh, sorry. You spin me right round. <laughs> actually haven't heard that one before. Oh, Michael, you're you're drooling quite a bit. Um have you ever seen a dead body? <laughs> um I can't say I have, actually. So. I've got three grandparents. I've seen them all die. <sighs> Which was your favorite? Oh, man. I'm dizzy. Must be you. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Jamela. Oh. Genoa. <laughs> yeah. And time and time Michael, there. Michael wins. All right, all right. What 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 fuck score do you give Michael? Oh, he, he was definitely he was funny. He was funny and and weird. But the the like if if you then if you sat down after the spinning and then were a bit less weird, like uh, you wouldn't have seen this on the camera. But when he looked at me, one eye was looking at me and the other one was looking at <laughs> what? <laughs> right. How did you do that? He purposely oh, went. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. So it was like that put me off because. I was like, first I was like, wow, he's funny and kooky. But then I was like, no, oh, he's, he's gonna, retarded. He's yeah. going to chop me up. <laughs> I was a bit dizzy. <laughs> he's going to chop me into pieces. But the lines were quite funny. It made me giggle. So. Yeah. And it got a name. But so. neither of you are getting it tonight. There's no way. <laughs> I think I'm right. <laughs> yeah. I'm this good. was weird, but funny. And that was just the meaning of low status. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that was a that was a good one though to think of yeah that a, that's nine three brown it's Fuck nine Matt, three, man. come it's on look i'm gonna Dude, you could have won that so I'm gonna, easy i'm gonna come up with some um some subjects that i think you will have the upper hand you will no, you don't have to do that make it even no look they're still they're subjects that i would have i don't want to win on a handicap no, the, oh, they're subjects I would have covered eventually throughout the season anyway. So I'm just going to push them forwards a little bit and just see if we can tighten things up a bit and give you a bit of confidence back because your confidence is shattered, cunt. <laughs> I can see it in your fucking eyes, cunt. What you about okay. dead inside, cunt? Do you really want the mince bottle? Is it special to you? I don't know, maybe. What's something else that if you win, you get that as well? Cash. No, don't go down this path. Cash. Oh, Matt wants cash. And, basketball and power. cards. He wants oh, power. No, that's fine. Matt wants either. power. We will buy you two grand of basketball cards if you beat oh Michael. My. If you win this series, you get the cum bottle, sorry, mince bottle, and $2,000 worth of basketball cards. He was working a lot harder in the Who's the Better Brown? I agree. Saying. I He's agree. really thinking about those yeah, questions. Yeah, money is your. Uh, well, we only base the like entire is, trailer of this about, whole season look, on we'll this get mince bottle, but oh, anyway. We're already doing that with Tinder. <laughs> what about. <laughs> Man, I reckon, okay, if you win this series, you can come back and win. You get the mince bottle as well as $2,000 worth of NBA cards. I think you guys have just put me down so much. I just, I'm just giving in. Oh, oh Brown. Man, come on. You man. would have won that if you were just yourself. Because he was weird. All you had to beat was just, weird. Nothing came to me. I just couldn't do it. Yes, you can. You can do it. You always have you that. You literally should have just come up and said, hi, I'm Matt. How are and you? And asked me a question. Like you do all the time. And you would have won. you do it. I've, we used to be the yeah, kings out on the streets, can't yeah, that's when you've I had lost hair. it? I had hair. No, you've lost the, your innerness. You haven't. Doesn't matter what the external looks like. You've lost your innerness, can't you? Need to go out and find your inner mat and put it back in and let that little seed of confidence grow into a plant and let it fucking fill you, can't go to manscape.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll try and take that on board. Nine right. three. That's fucking fucking. All right now. All right, let's switch back to our seats. I Nine might go three. get changed if that's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Are you sure? Jimetti. Yeah, this is <laughs> not so uncomfortable. The shoes are horrific. All right, guys. We've guys. You can see we've got our guest James on, and if you didn't know, he's um been doing some chin content. James has a fucking party trick that we didn't even think about making content with until like the end of last year we were just like oh what could james do on his own and and then he just fucking starts balancing everything that was around us on his chin 
Yeah, it's fucking cool. I think I'm top five in the world. Dude, I'm not I, trying I, yeah, to be arrogant. I know. I've I, seen I'd agree world with records and they are fucking lame. I would in fact, this is what I think of the current world records. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. Mm-hmm. You fucking cunt! You bitch! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I think of the current world record holders. Well, if you think Pulling about it, the only reason why we didn't break the record with milk crates <laughs> is because we couldn't get them all up without snapping. Yeah. If we had that up there ready to go that's lowered on your chin, you <laughs> could do like- it? 20 we did 25 25 the record milk yeah. crates 30. on top of each 32, other 32 supposedly on james's chin all in single file the record holder he did double so not yeah. half as high <laughs> so that's fucking impressive yeah so we've got a chinny gym yeah, at chinny gym on tiktok and we're going to be posting to it more and more and um, surely you could get that record if you double if put it side by side easily. yeah but i kind of don't want to because I feel like we could do it. If we get it up there, it was funny in the comment sections, people were like, they've tied the crates to get, yeah. Try and try and balance yeah, 30 yeah, crates. Can't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyway, the point is the weight. Once you get to 30 crates, you start weighing like 40 something kilos. And I saw the dude that did it and he's like- we- Weakling. Weakling. Yeah. Wow, 40 kilos on your chin. Yeah. You can do that more it's, than it's, that. A, it's pretty big. James says that if he can lift it, he can balance it. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm sure about that. What other world records are there with a the chin? Oh, there's this dude in China. He's pretty legit, but but not that not that good. Like he he connected three push bikes together and balanced three push bikes on his chin. With the comments like, "Oh, he's fucking connected in." Yeah, seriously, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. And he's a big he's a big fuck weird. Yeah, big man. Wow. Have you reached out to him? Like, no, I'll him reach out to him when I've. Seen snapped his record over my knee bone <laughs> yeah yeah so fucking uh, have, have a check on tiktok so we will be posting more there we're very busy at the moment we got james working fucking 100 hours a week at the moment so we haven't had time to film but there will be some chinny gym content coming we've posted some of it to our own tiktok mm. i can't believe this. it's so shocking to look at <laughs> it is weird it's such a shit skill though i wish i could like Dude. diversify my money or something <laughs> Yeah. Uh, maybe like, that'd be a good but skill. But like, it's- like, what skills do any of us really have? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, I can all drink talentless. My yeah, I can drink spit. Michael is yeah. Michael's talent is that he's really gross. He can and rip toenails off. I'm just really. Oh, that's good. Though. I've turned being really annoying into a career. Matt, no, you're the prank. You're you're the best prank caller in the world. I reckon, or def- definitely in Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. I've true. heard. I like Googled it once of like the best prank callers, and you should have a listen. It's comical. They're shit. And so maybe there's multiple world record holders in this room. Could and be. you are good at Tinder chats. Oh yeah. Well, it's me ch- channeling Matt. Yeah. It's just Matt. I've got Matt with confidence. Matt's got Matt with no confidence. Man, yeah, can we anything, just literally just destroying me? Can we reflect <laughs> like, like on last week's poem again? The people are calling for more poems. It is oh, like dude. I, I oh, watched that, that. I watched that poem like a hundred times throughout the week, and I would just <laughs> be in tears, pissing myself every time. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, go back to last week's episode. It's uh, about an hour and ten in. Go to the timestamps. Yeah, there's some. Look, there's some good Tinder chats um, and there are some more this week. So why don't we dive right in? Mm. You ready, Matt Brown? Would you like to press the button of hypocrisy? T-I-N-D-R, we have Matt's Tinder, ha ha ha. Matthew Brown has lost control, now these women will lose their soul. Wow. <laughs> Is that just you and a guitar? Yeah. Fuck, yeah. man, that was really good. Yeah, what the chucks, man? <laughs> <laughs> and that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you got me back. <laughs> All right, here we All go. Right, so, oh, yes. As you know, we've got ta- Matt's um, Tinder logged in, um, and so we're having these conversations as Matt brown and i'm funneling girl after girl to matt brown I'm giving out his number i'm giving out his snapchat i'm giving out his instagram <laughs> and these girls are adding him and calling him and and following him so it's been working pretty well i would say it's not working well at all <laughs> what you happened some so- random criminal ring me and a hot I random criminal no. oh. and i didn't know i didn't know what the conversation was so as soon as i asked the question She's like, what the fuck? Would you just, I, I just yeah. explain my life to you. So, yeah. So, no context. So, and that immediately just went into, well, I guess I'll chat to you later. 
And then all the other ones have been add me to snap. I've had a bunch of things add me to Snapchat. None of them have things. none of them have spoken to me except for one who was quite lovely, but you know, I didn't oh. pursue anything there. She's oh. very nice, but I did not I didn't find any interest at all. And then um and then you've had one add me to Instagram. Yeah. You gave and, out and my well, Instagram look, look, to somebody. Look, a lot of these go like I'll read these out and you'll be quite shocked at how willing they are to be sexual with you yeah, immediately. But, but it's not that's not everything I'm looking for. And I feel yeah, like that's all helps, you're heading for. It helps for. and it helps get your confidence up. And I'm worried because I think there could be one there that could be amazing and you're just gonna destroy it. Matt, at least they know about you. All right? <laughs> <laughs> they know your face, and you're you're circulating around the whole women of Brisbane. What am I, what's going to happen? We're just going to get to like season ten. <laughs> no, I Matt's actually, Tinder season ten, dude. I, I did have a. What's the goal, dude? I did have a guilty thought the other day. Yeah, like, good. What if we are fucking? Imagine if Matt never finds a partner because of of what of this segment. Oh no way! No, no it's cool. Yeah, surely if this podcast gets big enough, it will help him. Get girls. And we're not dumb. We know if a girl came across on that Tinder that we genuinely thought, oh, fuck, Matt would really like this girl. Uh, the conversation will be different. Stacey. James, he won't. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that. He's not going to yeah, go. That was yeah, a very yeah. cheeky I'm going to take money. care of him. Look. Look. Well, I, I'll I tell you. Think, I don't think oh, your okay, future wife is on Tinder. How about, okay, we're allowed yeah. to do it with all the girls, but we'll leave the boys for you. I don't want you to talk anymore. <laughs> Look, I don't, Matt. Right. To be honest, I don't think your future wife is on Tinder. That's why I, I'm I agree of- with you. I agree with you. Okay. One one thing I will say though, I've had sex. I've had better chats with with um, people from just being on this podcast than I have in any of you trying to set me up with anyone. Yeah. So the podcast is working. The podcast is working. And this, everyone loves but this my segment. dating nightmares are not working. <laughs> so this segment increases the podcast, which increases the flow of women to you outside of this segment and inside this segment. Right, and we so. promise so let's enjoy not it. to talk to the boys. There's I been don't some want you success. To talk anymore. There's so there's let's been enjoy some it. success. You've had little dates with girls that have come around from this podcast. I, have, I went for a walk fun. with Jasmine. Yeah. Very lovely. There was lots of flirting with Isla. Right, lots of flirting with Isla, but that's it. Oh, and there's no, you, you um, reject Ethan. Her. You reject. Remember them Ethan? <laughs> Ethan was very hot, and there's also. Oh um, yeah, there was some also. Look, we don't have to get into. Yeah, that we don't have a long to, way away. Yeah, we don't have to get into this every week. You say no, I send them your way, and you say no. So they they are coming, but you say no to them. And there's so our. So let's only- get on. Let's get into this. Okay. Yeah. They're coming. They're coming in thick and fast, and Matt says no, thank you every time. <laughs> so here we go. All right. So this is a lovely young lady, and she's actually like, in I'll show you. Are you angry at me because I say no every time? No, you can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to help you. Look at her. I want to see too. Oh, I want to see. Yeah. Matthew Brown. Bro, the picture's small. I can't tell. <laughs> anyway, but you're so, pleased with what you saw, even so despite it's, it's a small, small picture. But it's a small picture, but he's can, pleased. You know, she yeah. looks after herself. You can tell. I, all I want to oh. say is, I want to say one thing. Thank you for showing me before you start your fucking rant. All right. <laughs> Backhanded. I hope there's a poem. Oh, my God. All right. So, Matt, knowing, seeing that she looks after herself starts with this. <clears throat> oh, no. Are you a fucking supermodel? Because I would peel my scalp off with tweezers just to be in the same room that you had to use towel in. <laughs> Am I being too old fashioned, aren't I? <laughs> well, I've never heard that before. Yeah, I'm a bit of a romantic. I even cut my pubic hair into the shape of a love heart with flames on top. If you play your cards right, I might send you some pics of it tonight at quarter to seven if you aren't busy. What's your digits, Vixen? Oh, <laughs> LMFAO, I think I'm good on pubes. Think I will pass on that one. It probably sounds weird, but once you see them, you'll think, oh, cool. That's not what I expected at all, and this guy's actually really unique and creative, and now I'm going to give him a chance. There's a dead pig. <laughs> There's a dead pig in our shed. I think we think it got bitten by a snake. Do you know any celebrities or what? <laughs> Lol, I don't even know how to take that message. Um, no, I don't know any celebrities. Well, you do now, sweet tits. I've got a super successful <laughs> podcast and someone yelled out their ute at me the other day because I listened to it. Want to hit up a driving range with me on Sunday morning at like 3.30 a.m.? <laughs> I'm a super early riser. <clears throat> I'm definitely sleeping at that time. Plus, I have two kids. I have full time. Golf is a perfect sport for kids. It teaches them angles and fact, and it's nice and sun and shit. I'm not going to take my kids. 
I can take them if you want. I'll give them a lesson. Oh. I can pick them up this weekend at like 4 a.m. Give you a chance to clean the house. <laughs> And she, she did not write. She it. did not write that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you basically butchered yeah. that to pieces. No, she, she showed. I'll it. take your kids. <laughs> you fucking psycho. <laughs> I'm just trying to. All right, next one. Here we wait, go. Wait, wait. Did she unmatch? Well, she hasn't. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So she's uh, gone. Unfortunately. Well, maybe I don't know. She's gone. I don't know Shit. if they unmatch. You just uh, they, if they don't message, it doesn't pop up to the top, and I forget about them, and I move on to the next. All right, this lovely young lady starts his conversation. Hi, Matt. <clears throat> Matt replies. So many fucking flies on my chicken. I can't even eat a chicken sandwich outside anymore without having like 80 flies buzzing around me. It's so frustrating. I can't help tensing my neck. What's the <laughs> most you've ever been swollen? Wow, that's fucking poultry right there. Yeah, sorry, I shouldn't tinder while I'm frustrated. I spray my food with bug killer now and that keeps them away. So tell me about your spirit, babe. Where do you see yourself in the world, babe? <laughs> How much have you swollen? <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't write back to that, did she? The spirit, babe. <laughs> oh, Matthew man. Gregory Brown. All right, this is, this is quite a good one, all right? So, it, you know, in Matt's Tinder profile, it says that he, you know, he's the heir to the king of browns, blah, blah, blah. So she starts the messaging with, <clears throat> Hello, Sir Brown. Princess Beck curtsies to the royalty that receives this message. Laughing That's faces. Cute. King Brown offers his hand to young Princess Beck, and she kisses his rings. King Brown beckons to a seat at his royal brown table, and they take a seat. So, Princess Beck, what brings you to my brown castle? <laughs> well, Sir Brown, interested has bethrotted my brain. Sir Brown's smile and profile are of interest to Princess Beck. Lol, what brings Sir Brown to thy tinder? This is good. How long have thee been single? She's good. King Brown reminds you that it's King Brown and not <laughs> Sir Brown. <laughs> King Brown rolls his eyes and looks at one of his guards who also shakes his head in disbelief. King Brown comes to tender to extend thy kingdom. King Brown has already laid his eggs inside every female in the brown land he rules and wishes to squirt his seeds deeply within as many females as possible. What say you, Beck? Will you let King Brown spray his royal seeds throughout your guts? <laughs> your okay, reply. King Brown, but how should one princess know if she has never heard of the king? Oh my God. Okay, so King Brown is sounding like a gigolo. Princess Beck is a lady of class and sophistication and will not allow the King Brown to spread his overspread seeds. Princess Beck deserves a prince or king who deserve, deserves and respects a lady. Thou shall not have a chance to encounter Princess Beck's presence. King Brown impatiently takes large bites of his cooked chicken in front of him while man maintaining eye contact with Princess Beck. How the fuck have you never heard of the greatest <laughs> king that has ever been? Why the fuck do you think there are so many people with the last name Brown? It is I, King Brown, spreading my seeds via chemtrails and direct injections. King Brown respects the princess for not immediately spreading her legs for the king and orders the guard to take her to one of the sleeping quarters upstairs in the castle. We will continue this conversation soon, Princess Beck. But remember this, princess. My seeds always have a funny way of getting their way. Oh my dear King Brown, you are forgiven for your cockiness and maybe learning how to earn the hand of a woman full of self-respect and how it is you will earn her attention. I accept sleeping in your quarters, but only to seek another day with the king in hopes he learns a new respect for a lady, hopefully enough to generate enough interest to keep thy king interested. <clears throat> The king has downed two large goblets of wine <laughs> and has considered your request for respect. The, the king would like to make a proposal which may interest thy princess. The king will escort the princess around his royal brown castle, pointing out the royal swimming hole, the gardens, <laughs> and have one of his servants order Uber Eats. If the princess is sufficiently impressed, she must agree to let the king passionately fuck-thump his seeds all up in the princess. 
However, if the princess is not sufficiently impressed, she may leave the castle grounds, but runs the risk of being beheaded upon her departure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, king, oh, please, I want nothing more than to be beheaded than to be fucked useless. This old princess has not time for used up, has been kings who sit on the throne fucking whores for a hobby, but death I choose. Lol, well, that was the best and funniest Tinder convert I've ever had. Thanks for the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So, so this girl fun. is called Lena. So uh, Matt starts the message with, I'm so lonely, Lisa. Have you ever had surgery? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I think you sent this to the wrong person. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry about that. Lisa is my date from three nights ago, but she's n left me now all alone because I had surgery to fuse my knee joints and arm joints together. So it's really quite difficult to walk on two completely straight stiff legs and arms. So yeah, not a good weekend. How's yours been? Okay. I would think most people find it difficult to walk on their arms. I know I can't. Oh, sorry, I didn't explain myself. I fused my knee joints and my elbow joints so they no longer bend. I had to do it. It's a medical condition. So I still have arms and legs where they go, but I just can't bend them. Medical conditions are common in royal lineage. I think it's from keeping it in the family. Lol, yeah, the bio was a joke, but my knee arthro arthrodesius isn't, especially since it's spread to my elbows. It's kind of cool talking to someone, though, Lena. Do you mind if we keep chatting a bit? My surgery was only a day ago. Lucky it was only your elbows and not your fingers, otherwise you wouldn't be able to type. Well, it's... Well, it's not to say it can't happen in the future. I don't feel like you're believing me right now. You can Google knee arthrothesis if that helps, which is actually a medical condition where, you, where they have to fuse your knee joints together. I, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. I know it's a medical condition. I don't know how you could send me a message instead of Lisa. What hospital are you in? I guess I'm on a fair few painkillers and your names are kind of similar. I'm at St. Vincent's. They are, but we have never engaged in conversations and I'm still struggling to believe it. Maybe you should try Lisa again. Lena, I'm going to be honest with you. I made the whole hospital thing up because I thought chicks love helping dudes when they're <laughs> sick and vulnerable. There never was a Lisa. Let me make it up to you. Let me make you a veggie garden. Lol, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I only eat meat. Sorry, if you had a cattle farm, I'd be all in. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. I actually do have a small cattle farm. <laughs> One huge cow called Mum living on it currently. <laughs> <laughs> no reply. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh, this one is good. This one is, uh, I just got to pre-warn you guys. This was actually a really nice girl so i just i just i had to oh. stop it <laughs> it got like she was just too nice i couldn't continue so i just i kind of just let it go because she was just too nice you'll see what i mean but then i will read what i was going to send i actually consulted with james on this yeah i was a negative yeah oh, i was going to send her something but it probably would have broken her heart so matt starts with this <clears throat> i gripped her hand too hard that's what my mother said to me today can you believe it well, you can grip my hand as hard as you like. There would be no complaints here with that. I dislocated three of my mother's knuckles. Are you certain you want to hold hands with me? I can grip your waist too if you want. Oh, your poor mum. I'm still certain that I would love someone to hold my hand with a grip like that. You're kind of turning me on. Can I grip your neck while sucking both of your tits at the same time? <laughs> How did you know that that's my favorite? Would you let me hog tie you to the ceiling fan, turn it on and fuck up at you every time you swung past? <laughs> Well, that's a sentence that has just fucked with my head, lol. If you don't mind being spewed on in the meantime. Oh. Mm, holy fuck, I would love it if you power spewed as you were slung around the room with me fucking up at you from underneath. Wow, this got so kinky. I guess we just have that natural sexual chemistry. Just a bit kinky. I'm not used to sexting someone, sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not used to it either. The convo started by talking about crushing my mother's hands when I held them too tightly. <laughs> now I'm staring up at the ceiling fan, ceiling fan, fantasizing about getting you up on turning it on full blast. Where do you live? <laughs> All I was thinking about is how sick I would be if it was on full blast. I'm in North Lakes. What about yourself? Oh. Yeah, you vomiting while spinning at such an intense velocity <laughs> is not only hot as fuck, but I feel like it would look cool too. I'm a massive house in Bridgman Dance with like four to five ceiling fans, so we aren't even that far away. Can I tell you a secret? You can tell me a secret. I'm actually kind of nervous telling you. Promise you won't say anything. Why are you nervous? By the way, my name is Verity. <clears throat> because I feel like we've got a good thing going on and I don't want to risk scaring you away. 
Oh. God, you're so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you won't scare me away. Oh, thank you. And your smile is infectious. Oh. Which is what drew me to your profile. Okay. I have anal canal duplication. <laughs> essentially, essentially, I have two buttholes. I just always tell people early on so no one has to waste their time with me if it's something that wears them out or whatever. And, pl and, and please obviously don't go around to your friends saying, oh my God, this guy has two buttholes and show my pics because that's happened before and it really sucked for me for a while. <laughs> oh, no way. I would never say anything to like that to anyone. That's so cruel. People are so mean. I've had my share of being picked on, and your secret is safe with me. I appreciate you telling me, though, and I'm not scared off. Oh, fuck. That's so kind of you to say. Yeah, you won't ever see it anyway. It's not like couples stare at each other's assholes all day. Unless you love rim jobs, in which case I'm twice as fun. <laughs> Plus, I shit twice as fast. Do you have any cool little quirks like that? Oh, you <laughs> cool Shit little quiet as far. <laughs> I'd have to say my only thing is I wear a hearing aid in my left ear, so I don't Aww. so don't talk quietly in my left ear because I won't hear it. <laughs> and then I was going to say I didn't. I just said I just ended it with like, "Oh, you're super nice," blah blah blah. But I was going to say I didn't. Oh, you wear a hearing aid, so like I'll have to talk <laughs> at different levels depending on where I'm standing in relation to you. Yeah, that's kind of a deal breaker oh, for me. Oh, oh, Sorry. Oh, right? She was so nice. Yeah, Way I was like, too nice. Wow, that's that. so mean. But like the thought of it is like funny for a second. Yeah. Matt? Yeah, is she the one? And look, no, she's, she's into shit. some kinky shit, man. Can you imagine a hog tied chick <laughs> and you fucking up at it? She's yeah, into that. It'd be fun. You but, suck um, it on <laughs> both of her tits. Yeah. There are a few more sexual ones too that I want to get to, which I think <laughs> will excite Matt. All right, this one's called. Do Emily. they end with you pushing them to me? Yeah, yeah. All right, this one's called Emily. This one did reach out to you. All right. So she starts a conversation. What three words would you use to describe yourself? Petrol, plague, and detached retinas. <laughs> what was the last one? Detached retinas. What about you? And don't fucking lie either. Just be honest. <laughs> Res resilient, luminous, and selfless. All right. Now let's do three really random funny words. Scrot, cockfucker, dick sores. What's yours? Um, beaver, boohickey, bongle. <laughs> I think we just came up with the names of our future six kids, my sweet little rainbow. I'm playing in a little puddle on the street with my toys. I'm, I'm playing in the I'm playing in a puddle on the street with my toys. What are you up to today? That's a lot of kids. I don't really have much planned until I pick my boy up later. Can I have it? <laughs> Can you have it? Yeah, your plans. Can I have some of your plans? I want you to make time for me. Like, I don't mind you hanging out with your kid, but you oh, still oh. need to make sure there's time for us so we can continue our connection. What are your plans for tomorrow? Oh. Tomorrow, I'm practicing my karate until about 1 p.m., but after that, I'm free. <laughs> practicing karate. Can we eat goat? Uh, why goat? I'm just heaps skilled at filleting goat flesh. I was raised in Tasmania. There's there's more goats than people there. <clears throat> people learn how to finally fillet a goat at, at a very young age. It's quite an art form. The trick is to keep the blade of your knife just under the skin so that you don't lose any of the fleshy goat meat. What are your hobbies? <laughs> oh. That's a skill. I grew up on a farm, so I've seen it all done. Not to a goat, though. I like to say I have wonderful hobbies, but after my last relationship and focusing on my son, I kind of forgot about myself. But the last 12 months, I've put a lot of focus on myself and starting to adventure out. Two things that have always stuck with me is rainforest walks slash runs and cooking. Yeah, whenever I've had a stressful day, I just pick a goat out of the field and fillet it. It's so relaxing, <laughs> especially when the knife is as sharp as a scalpel. We could cook goat together. I actually come up with this fucking sick as fuck recipe. It's boiled goat and eggs. Sounds <laughs> basic, but I add all this fucking sick herbs and shit. You're random ads. I just have to say that. He is kills that goats to make them <laughs> fun. Is relaxation. that good or like shit? No, it's not a bad thing at all. I've been smiling. Do you have Insta or might that be easier? To, that might be easier to chat through if you're interested. Yeah, at Matt Brown one 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 one. Hit me up on that fucking shit and <laughs> say it's M from Tender and I'll chuck you up in my primary chat. Loose ass baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fucked. Brownie, that is fucked. Uh. 
so Matt starts. <clears throat> Your profile actually really made me smile, and I needed that today. So thank you. <laughs> Do you believe in fate? I'm drawn to you for some reason. I'm so glad to be of service. Why did you need it today? Not having a good day? I do believe in fate. Do you? Ooh, for what reason? <clears throat> I accidentally let my neighbors sheep out into the wrong yard and they made their way onto the highway. Heaps got killed. It was on the news and shit. I might have to go to court. Fucking sheep are so dumb and shit anyway. It's just a pillow with legs. You can't even eat them or milk them and shit. Fuck sheep milk, cunt. I would prefer human cat milk. Can women produce milk all the time or only when they're pregnant? Genuinely curious. Oh my God. Are you okay? That's hectic. Goats are way better than cheese. And I know you're venting, oh but you can, can eat sheep. No, women only produce milk when they're pregnant. <laughs> So fucking hectic. I'm so over just animals in general. They can all just get <laughs> fucked off. Wait, wait, wait. So women have to be pregnant to make tit milk. So my mum was fucking pregnant when she was breastfeeding me until I was 10 years old. I'm fucking calling her tomorrow. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> women can start producing milk when they become pregnant, but can breastfeed and continue producing milk for years. Like if a woman breastfed her kid until he was six and then her husband drank her titties, she would still keep producing milk until no one was drinking her titties and then milk production would stop. Oh, thank fucking God for that, hey. <laughs> I remember getting bullied so much in primary school for, for still getting breastfed, but it was just cost effective. If I sucked on your tits long enough, even though you're not pregnant, would that start producing milk? I would do that experiment with you if, if you get bored. Haha, <laughs> 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 save money where you can. No, honey, it's the pregnancy hormones that begin milk production, but that doesn't mean we can't try. Oh. Yeah, I would really like to just lie in bed and suck on your tits for hours, <laughs> alternating between the two tits and just feeling you up as I suck. <laughs> I can't, well, I can't let you do all the sucking. That doesn't seem fair. Oh my God. You can suck my tits too. <laughs> then, I, then I would flip you over onto your belly and dislocate my shoulders and fingers. Then I would drag my dislocated arms over your back with all my fingers pointing in different directions. <laughs> What's your number? I have to suck your tits this week. <laughs> no reply? No, that's ongoing. Oh, oh, she's the one, man. If you want to you suck on some tits. She's the one. On your yeah. shit you bread, you called her. Even Matt wants to see her. <laughs> he won't on show the, me, though. On the sheep bread, he called her. <laughs> 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 so rude. Yeah, starts so nice though. Such a fast escalation into oh God, craziness. That was my favourite one. Uh, all right, guys. So the battle for finding Matt's future wife continues. Let us now progress to the to have a fucking bong break, and we'll be right back with Q and A, everybody. And Michael's movie reviews, Matt's website reviews, and a prank call, everybody. Pluck that out. Oh, fucking, fucking <laughs> bong break. Questions and answers. <laughs> Questions and answers. We'll have a question <laughs> and answer you. with you as you sit oh, and you oh. watch and you smoke all your billy bongs. We'll have a question and answer with oh, you. Oh, oh my dude. god, man. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> that has like <laughs> Blink 182 vibes to it, yeah, but it was like rough. Australian and yeah. oh, I went gross, yeah. dude. All right. Right, so well, this is where we answer the questions that you guys comment on the Mighty Michael Foley actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So once you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions you want us to answer, Matthew. Uh, uh, first first question, question is from, from AJ, AJ Spence. Simpson. 
Uh, question for the podcast. Can we get a website video where Matt shows off his DVDs whilst being berated and judged for his movie taste by Marty Michael? That would be flattering. I don't think that. I think our I members would be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I agree. But quite 19 likes. Maybe know, if I threw odd. shit oh, really? at him. What if I threw likes? shit at him as hard as I could? And that's that's two days ago, so it could have gone up by then. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe if you change <laughs> it to... Maybe we can add it into a vlog. How about that? We'll add it into a vlog. Yeah. I reckon you're right. Maybe if I was getting projectiles. Well, we could have up. your DVD you rack that, and Matt. you stand in front of us and you bring up the DVD and you say three things and quotes from it <laughs> and just be your fucking self. I think people would hate it. Anyway, it's, I'll, leave, I'll leave that one with you Look guys. at him. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not hooked in. Yeah, I'm in pain. My balls are getting sucked up. My back's falling apart. Ooh. All right. It's nice. That helped. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, um, next question is from Connor Westwood. Um, how do you guys find walking around Brisbane on a regular day? Do some people piss you off? Take the piss or do you have some fun with it? No, no one really pisses us off. We've been quite lucky. Everyone's very nice and friendly, and yeah, people come get photos. Yeah, and say we love hi. it. Everyone's so it's so many website members come up. It's so cool. Yeah, the if website you, members they truly know who we are. If you say and you're a website member 100%. or a podcast member, it's like oh fuck. Yeah, you so can just yeah. relax and be yourself. They it's not it. like yeah. oh, I saw the smoke of it. It's like you know, it's yeah, the three-minute like prank videos online. They don't really represent who we are as people as much as the podcast and the website videos. Look at Matt Brown. This is who he is. Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. Matt gets recognised. Yeah. Sometimes James very, got recognised at the airport. And at, and at Coles and at the footy. Oh wow! A few times oh really? Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Fucking hell, can't. It was. I was with Cam too. So I was like, <laughs> 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 oh, no, I hope it's all this time. <laughs> <laughs> was Cam real shocked? Yeah, he was a little yeah. bit shocked. Like these, like three dudes screamed at me out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. that's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah, clear, yeah. You. Uh, next question is from Don't Stay Awake. <laughs> <laughs> Can you boys do a road trip for the podcast uh, at the end of the year for every state or just come to Melbourne at oh, least? Good, yeah. Imagine yeah. Get, getting yeah. the caravan and going on a road oh, trip with it. Oh, fuck, it'd be good. Dude, should we, maybe we should. Yeah. It'd be good to do just the, like, the capital cities. Sydney's is, is only it, 10 hours oh, away. Is that, it's not road worthy though, is it? What? The caravan? No. Oh, okay. I think if we did it, we'd do it a bit differently. But they don't know. The cop doesn't know that that's not roadworthy. It looks like a fucking car. We'd have to register it. That's where you'd have trouble. Oh, God, rules. I just get a bus. Uh, I think we'll just 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 get a bus. I'm a James Hire bus. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah, it would be so hot. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, I wouldn't mind now that fucking America is back to Fakliner soon. Mm. We should go to America for another LA trip. I'd be down for that. Can I come? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I'm more full timey than you. Actually, fuck LA. Go to Texas. No, I want to. We can collaborate with some yeah, more for clients. Lots of people in LA. Okay. Sorry, All I right. shouldn't have said that. Next question is from Alex Finnegan. Um, do you guys reckon you can get Matt Brown, the UFC fighter, on the podcast? Oh, that'd be cool. Wouldn't that be for clients? That'd be the most boring interview, though. I reckon yeah. he'd be so serious. He is a very serious dude. Yeah. Like, he was good on Joe Rogan, but they talked about fighting, so it made sense. It'd yeah. be funny to try and, like, piss him off. But it'd yeah, be, be so funny. easy. <laughs> yeah. Really? He's a fiery fucker. Yeah, he was, like, walking out for a fight once, and someone, like, tapped him, and he just turned and just threw a punch at someone in the audience. Grabbed his yeah, hat in Brazil. Yeah, and he's he took a, a big cray cray. Wow. Yeah, I reckon, and he'd hold that grudge. I reckon he'd come looking for us. Should try kissing. <laughs> right, well, oh, maybe, yeah, that maybe would do stay it. away from him. <laughs> yeah, let's give that Matt Brown a rest. Well, we should just, yeah. Fuck, yeah, fuck that. Um, next one is from William Petruni. Petroni? Patron? Petroni. Patron, yeah. yeah. But depending where he's from. Um, will Michael have to watch a Marvel movie this season? I've definitely got one in the works. Oh, I forgot about Marvel fuck. for a while. Yeah, well, I've been what about off. Batman versus Superman? It wasn't that horrific. <laughs> Yeah. Did you yeah, watch Matt it? Would I recommend think that's that. shit. Yeah. No. Yes, I'm sorry. I mean, who would watch that first of all? Oh, uh, if it was, and who would actually obvious? go, yeah, all right, I'll watch that. If, it was, done, if it was done well. No. Nah. Isn't it obvious who would win that though? Superman. He's like, oh, oh you'd be surprised. Yeah. Batman's a, a man. You'll be surprised yeah, what happens. To this. Name oh, one something oh. versus something movie that's been good. Fuck. Man. None. There has not been one. Freddy versus Jason was shit. Oh, man. Yeah. So was Superman, Batman. And what about those creatures that fight each other? 
Oh yeah, Alien versus Predator. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, this is what I think of that fucking movie. Listen man. up. This is what I. This is my fucking movie review, cunt. <laughs> Dare make that piece of shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, dude, your eye was about to pop out of your skull. Oh. Then I watched it from the side; it moved. <laughs> that was good. That okay, was now good. it really takes months yeah, we don't of my like life the every time. Films, yeah, that's no. for sure. Thank you yeah, for yeah. thank you for getting that across, Marty, because that was spot on. <laughs> Even I agree. The versus films are quite shit. Yeah. Um, Pratty, Pratty oh, is Pratty um in Thailand on. at the moment. Oh yeah, Pratty has said he's going to get a portrait of me tattooed on him for. <laughs> For um, in exchange for a brown versus brown comp, yeah, we've done. said yes, and um, he just wanted a comment saying he's currently waiting uh, at the tattoo place to get his tattoo. So, so he'd probably have it by now. Which um, which photo? It, so. I wonder is he going to get? He picked out three photos and just and just. What's his name? Praddy. Praddy. Yeah, Praddy. So. DM us the Marty and Michael account. With yeah, I've told him. I've told. Or him. actually, the fully actual because matter it's easier to see, right? Yeah, Praddy's in contact with me, so yeah, he's going to have a portrait of me. How does that make wow. you feel? You love pretty him. Pretty hot. He, he was talking. He's thinking about doing the bong break one. <laughs> pretty hot. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll see. What, I kind of he wish sure. he'd use that one of you at the Tasmanian Art Gallery. <laughs> it's my favorite photo of all time. Like you know the one I'm talking about, where yeah. he's like standing in front of a brick wall right. and he looks psychotic, and his nipples you can see him through his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, You've used that in videos, haven't you? Oh, dude, I use yeah. it every chance I can. I want to line my house walls with it. <laughs> um, next question is from Hayes. Hayes? Hayes. Hey, no, not Hayes. Uh, Hayes. Anyway, depending where he's from or she's from. Um, when did Matt Brown? When did Matt Ball Brown lose all his hair? Um, progressive, but progressive yeah. like two, two he, years ago. Well, I was at your house. I shaved it. Yeah, I house. remember there was a lot of oh, should I shave it? Should I shave it? And yeah, it was, there was a lot. A well beyond the stage. You should have shaved it probably about a year or two before. Well, my ex the, was like, did. no, 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 don't. And then, but then she was like, I, I went to Top Golf with you guys, and we took a photo there, and I was like. Fucking hell, look at it because all the light went into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it depended on the up. angle. Sometimes you'd see you and it'd be like, oh, it's not that bad. And other times you'd be like, oh, yeah, shit. I didn't it's mind time. it. I seriously thought you could have kept going. No. no Michael, Michael, you need oh, to be reminded of some photos. Man. You need to start losing some hair. <laughs> I, I'm getting close too. If we, I see it more no. than over in videos, yeah. you're nowhere near me. I am too. We, we should discuss hair transplants. Uh, yeah, we should. Why the fuck not? And steroids. <sighs> te- uh, I don't not know. Steroids. Do Test, though. I don't Let's know do if some I can heroin. Do it. Michael. But we can discuss it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do a hair transplant. I just don't think I'll look good. I've seen the other people have got them. You probably and- look exactly oh, where you look like oh now. Oh, my God. I saw a guy at a cafe. It was the most fucked up hair transplant I've ever seen. Like, it See? is. I, I like I literally stopped Christina and my, and Bartez halfway through their breakfast because I was like, that makes me never want to get this. This can't. I Thank kid you. you not. It went. It was like it went up like this up his fucking forehead. It was comical. It was just a circle. Whoa. It was so bad. And no this forehead. this coloured hair was different to. So the he one had the no back. forehead. Oh, why was, would he choose to do that? It was so bad that I, I I don't know. I reckon he just thought, oh, I could just shave it. Like you know, you know, you see those those like the black dudes who just can perfectly shape their hair. Oh yeah. I think he could thought he could do oh. that. It was so bad. Oh, oh my god. See it scared that scares me. me to do. And then you yeah. can't get rid of them, can no. you? That's grown for life. Oh, actually, you can maybe oh, you laser them out. Or well, then why wouldn't you grow you could, it like, out? Shave it. But- Imagine growing a forehead oh. afro. Man, I don't know enough about oh, it, but- dude. Dude, that's not a bad website video. <laughs> what? Imagine just afro. seeing if you can just get like a random patch of hair um, transplanted on some weird part of your on body. On the tip oh, of your yeah, dick. That's not bad. Imagine you hand- growing hair out of the tip of your dick. <laughs> 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 or just on your tailbone. So like Brushing a tail. it every morning with a big hairbrush. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if you just had like a beautiful strip of hair that could just grow out of your arm. Oh, wow. That, I Actually, I would do that. It's not a bad website. Like on your elbows? Or, or, or what about this? You grow them on your hips and then you grow them long enough. It's like suspenders. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you put, you wrap them over your shoulders and then jam it in your ass. Your ass, yeah. <laughs> I'd do that. Oh, sorry. All right, next question is oh, from. Sorry, just on that. Imagine if you got a little bit of hair transplanted to come out of your your unicorn ah, tail. That's not bad. So it yeah. grew real oh, yeah. hair. 
Be yeah, like My Little Pony funny. in real life. Would it grow like head hair there? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't. I guess so. Yeah. Science. That's kind of tempting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look, I will look into it. Yeah. I like that. We'll look into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write yeah. it down. Yep. All right. Next question is from Doss Twenty Nine. Um. Can you do have a? Can you two have a competition where the losers' punishment ha- they have to go do a day of tennis coaching? Oh, poor. that would be terrible. <laughs> oh, I, I'd one day it'd be alright because I wouldn't care. It I'd wouldn't take any care. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, but it would be so. Well, what funny if you to had to care him to see Michael coaching <laughs> again? I still remember the last few times <laughs> I saw Michael coaching us up on the top court, and you had to walk down a hill to to get to Michael's court, and Michael had just really didn't want to coach that day. He was super low energy. <laughs> And his group of kids was just fucking monstrous, like just full of fucking naughty little cunts. Oh. And I looked down at the very beginning of the session and the net's broken. So the net has snapped. And Michael's like bending over trying to p- fix it. And the, all the little kids are slogging balls at him and shit. And Michael just didn't have the energy to even discipline them. Oh, man, it was so funny to look down and see that. If there were no parents there, you could. it was just like just stand there and let him do what they want less energy put into them but like you know the kids are happy just being on court oh man Fuck so me. good but yeah I don't miss that eh? but like I guess we no. yeah, I don't think Greg would let us because he knows that we wouldn't try it's a fuck up it's like well said Michael and that is the end of Q&A's catch 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 alright guys we're fucking getting there it's another long one um, hopefully the yeah anyway alright guys it is time for Michael's movie reviews hit it Matt Matt's got a movie for Michael to review Matt's father's name is Greg and Michael would rather be dead this is Michael's movie review <laughs> oh, you got a party. Yeah, good party. jingle. Oh dude. my god. Yeah, we're working that. on it. We're working on it. See, <laughs> so we're adding music. Yeah, we, we saw your comments. We need the music because it is just fucking uh, like waltzing Matilda <laughs> shit I did before wasn't on. Well, let, let me take this opportunity to remind you to please like, comment, and subscribe and give us a five star review on Spotify. It really helps grow the podcast. It's the only way because all our videos are demonetized. It doesn't get shown anyone. Continue. So what was the movie you had to review? Okay, Ex Machina. Ex Machina. Ex Machina. Now this like is... I have not seen it. Oh, Neither dude, watch it. You'll, yeah, you'll enjoy it. I think it. I it's would. very fucking good. Anyway, Michael, what did you think? This is my jam. This is... Oh, this is, is this my. the one? You liked it. This is good shit. Yes! I, I like sci-fi slash... Yeah! Style. Then he's fucking them. Oh, so sci- good. <laughs> Sci-fi with AI with fucking tech shit. It's crazy. It's like Black Mirror shit, and which sex. is good, which is creepy. Oh, the sex stuff was like whatever. But like Matt loves the yeah. sex. It was like man, it was great concept. I love the house. I like how it's yeah. just the sort of rich guy. You get a little bit off when he's like, "Hey, when do we enter his his land?" And he's like, "We've been in the land for the last forty minutes or something like that." And yeah, like, it, like, great fuck. setting, great yeah. concept. Um, good ending. The whole film itself is like a masterpiece, really. And oh, oh man, whoa! It's um, it's only, it's still only like a seven out of ten. <laughs> what, Dude. really? Dude. Yeah, like it's not the beat. It's not a masterpiece, then. It's, okay, it's it's a piece of master. Yeah, it's a piece of master. Okay. Seven very, out of ten for me is very good. Seven out of ten for me is good. Like you know, we're talking Titanic's nine. You you <laughs> don't have a ten? No, nah, it's probably no ten. I'd say possibly wow. fucking the beach is up there. What about Freddie Got Fingered? Yeah, that is very good. That is, that's a nine too. No, that's oh, a, that's a seven. Freddie got it's on par with Freddie Got Fingered. Freddie Got Fingered's up there. The <laughs> yeah, best. wow. Um, <laughs> One of the best it, comedies. It was very very good, Matt. And this is this is what I'm talking about. This is better. Good acting. Everything was fucking good. It was like, yeah. I'm very impressed with you. All right. Like well, what what movie are we gonna? Let's give him one that he might not like. I right? gave the movie about an eight out of ten, so it's good to hear you say seven. You guys have finally agreed on a movie. Mm. Hooray! You didn't do any lines from the show. You finally had a chance to, to say some lines and some gimmicks, and he might I'm not hate Machina. you for it. Yeah, I did. I did the forty minutes over his land thing, and he. Oh, and it. you did the sex thing too, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but I didn't need to. I. It's just he it's, likes it. It's a creepy film. If you if you've got anxiety, maybe don't watch it. <laughs> oh, but, really. Um, 
Oh well, it's just sort of like you watch can see it, it happening. Yeah, I'm good. definitely going to watch it. Yeah, Christina seen it, will definitely, like it. definitely, definitely watch it. Too. Okay, yeah. it's um, you'll like it too, Marty. Have Stop you you haven't seen it, Mark? I know. I've never even heard of the fucking thing. Yeah, watch it. It's very Fine. good. Should we we'll cancel the Bucks party and we'll just yeah. watch that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just put it, watch it, then we'll watch it again. Yep. Okay. Um. So I had pre conversation with you about the list I've got there. So apparently you haven't seen this. It's a Tarantino film, but it's the first one he did. So Reservoir Dogs. I haven't seen it. Which you said you haven't seen. So Reservoir Dogs is, is the movie I've chosen for you for uh, next week's review. Yeah. But um, I do have it in the DVD collection, but it's on every streaming service. Okay. It's old. It's fucking good, it's but it's old. 90s? It's is it better old than From him? Dust Till Dawn? Oh, it'd be equal. Oh, yeah, I didn't mind. Very different long. movies, but equal. Uh, hmm. hey, I'll be interested in that. I think there's parts of it that'll be a bit long for him. It is acting. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. All right. Now, Matt, um, we looked at the That's comments from last week and all of our website members commented that they would like you to review one of our website videos, the Julian and Jackson date video. Well, I don't know. I forget what it's called on the website, but it's like- It's called that. Is it? Yeah. Julian, yeah. And, Julian then, and Jackson dinner date, I'm pretty sure. And basically, Michael and I had to try and make them vomit over a course of their three-course meal. That, that was the objection of the video. All of our website members wanted Matt to watch it and review it, and Matt watched it today, didn't you, Matt? So I did. Matt, so, um, Matt, tell, tell us what you think. <laughs> He's going to do a speech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go through the negatives first. <laughs> Once again, I've always said the one percenters is what makes the videos good or bad, but you never listen. Um, I hate that the restaurant's at the house. I understand why, because you know you're limited. Well, Imagine doing not, that at an actual yeah, restaurant. No I know, but just even if it was done in a in something a bit more. Bit not this, by the way, everyone, but this is good. back when we had we were still very poor. This is early yeah. website. But days. I will say it's good once you get inside and you're in the living room because you've set it up like a bit of a restaurant. Then it kind of this is Church works. Road times, like when we were yeah. living that at was a shitty place. For me, just then, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you, or did you set that up? Yeah, <laughs> uh, just just once. Fucking fucking cunt. <laughs> Incredible! Wow, I'm liking that idea. Putting it in yeah. front of him and do yeah. it in the future. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Are you okay, dude? You are so pale right now. Yeah, yeah. Really, honestly, it really <laughs> is ending, not good. Yeah, I hope was... people enjoy that because it's going to take years oh, off your life. God. Those farts, I reckon. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> dude. So dizzy right now. Oh my god! Sorry. Anyway, continue, no, no, Matt. I'll continue. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So once you get inside the living room, it's great. Um, but then, yeah, the outside setup is at the house. It's disappointing. It could have been better. Okay, so you hate that. Next one. Um, other one percenters was um, every now and then the camera would go in and out of focus. Just what about like, the what? content? The, the, no, no. The let the me story. get there. Let me get there. These are things that annoyed me. So um, the camera goes in and out of focus a lot. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was just the situation where the smell or I'm not sure, but I accepted it. Um, James was not in any type of chef uniform. He was just in James uniform. I thought that was a 1% and a good chance lost because you guys were dressed up and he wasn't. He looked like the chef Sorry. and he was handing you the meals. That upset me. You had a chance. I thought that could have been better. And the lighting was a bit off, but that's, that's, that's not just okay. Um, uh, uh, Jackson looked great in a dress. Uh, he, it's like neck and neck to who looked better in dresses between him and James um, but he fucking looked amazing in that dress um, funniest bits was definitely the opening at the front uh, where he says uh, his lines out there I can't remember the exact words but he said well, you shouldn't have you shouldn't I had have a good can't. laugh at that yeah, I also had good. a really good laugh at your wine pause where you filled the wine to the brim and slammed it down that really got some chuckles out of me yeah Funny bits, okay. but then it's pretty fucked from there. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, um, <laughs> um, oh, um, Jackson spitting in the wine. Of, yeah, that was funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, from there it's downhill. Um, um, in a good way. No, oh, oh. oh I don't know. <laughs> uh, the vomit soup. Oh, yeah. really great idea, but you snorting it was very hard to watch. Yeah, I forgot. I, I felt it. like I it. Forgot about that. Too. For some reason, it burnt in my throat, and that's the feeling I got. Oh, 
but yeah, that was fucked up. Um, also, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but that's not the first what's wrong with you I've got. After the vomit snorting, um, and you know, and Julian once again very weak stomach. Yeah, he's always yeah, had a weak yeah, stomach. I feel for the boy. I really do, and I agree with most. <laughs> I agree with most of what he says in this video. He really goes off um, and on a bit of a rant, and I kind of agreed with everything he said about <laughs> how it's um, you can't put it out there. Yeah, we can't stuff. post just- this. And we we did have a discussion. We're like, can we? But so it's one of our most shameful videos. It's fucking disgusting. Like, but it's just on the edge of shameful. Like, no, do you know what I mean? Well, I felt shame. Oh, yeah. I felt shame after. Yeah, it just- there, was, there, was a, there was an air of like silence and like, what have we done after? Um. Yeah, shit. it's just one. I think I said this last week. Once again, it's another amateur scat porn movie. Um, so we're we're basically amateur porn stars. No, no, ap- uh, no, no, no amateur scat sexual porn about stars. it. Though. There's nothing sexual, so it can't be porn. Um, the shit, Mister Shitbeard, like Sh- the shit you know, beard, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the entire video is everyone just vomiting after a big <laughs> night out. That's like, it's like the whole thing, except for Jackson. Super strong. How he <laughs> sat there, stomach, eh? Barely even flinched Incredible. at anything. No, he, he, had he said a that shower. He, yeah, he had a shower directly after. He said this shit beard nearly got him though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was so matter of fact about it all. Was Everything was funny. fine, but the shit in the beard was a bit much. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. moving, and then he's like, "I wouldn't post it. Oh, I definitely wouldn't post about it. It's you guys." It's but. a moment where he walks out of the house, like we're all standing around. Freaking out, talking about it. He just casually strolls out, <laughs> drenched from the shower. Is one of the funniest moments in that video, yeah, and I can't yeah. even explain why. Yeah, very good. <laughs> um, yeah, so Michael does the axe poo shave, um, which was so upsetting. So explain that. What is that? Basically, he's he shits onto a plate, and he smears it up and slaps it on his face, and he goes to shave it with an axe. It's part of the. Um, it's one of the things they offer at their restaurant. Which yeah, I don't barber slash restaurant. You got I two will, services. I will give it to you. That is some real service you guys are giving because no restaurant in the yeah, world. It's a first, it's a no point, restaurant point in the world. And if I weren't that. for COVID, that restaurant would have flourished. Oh, um, but yeah, the axe poo shave was very upsetting for me to watch my one of my best friends do that. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of tweaked yeah. the opinion of you a bit for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got to do. This is our do. this is our most shameful. And then Why I not? thought that was it. I thought that was there, like, all right, is it poo shave done? And then I was like, all right, that's fucked up. And then <laughs> just when I thought it was all over, um, the piss face cleanup. Yeah. Mm, oh, yeah. I forgot yeah. that. And it just adds an extra layer. That gets of a fucked. bit. There's a bit sexy sex in there. Yeah, it's not, it's not sexy though. It's not <laughs> sexual. It's we're just doing it for a laugh. Do you know? I th- no th- one's hard. I think if you did it sexually, it might have been a bit better video. But I, oh, I gagged oh. a bit. <laughs> Whoa, Brown. You're pissing on my face hard? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, it was a little bit more entertaining than the last week's video. So You liked it more than Laugh You Lose? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I'll rate it. it. I think it's a great I video. I enjoyed it a lot more than Laugh You Lose. So it's, for me, six out of ten. Six out of ten. All right. So let's steer away from the gross ones, guys. Let's comment a, a funny, painful one. Let's see how yeah, Matt handles that. One. Yeah. yeah, Matt, let's see. Let's find his sense of humor because there's we got sketches, we got vlogs, we got pain shit on the website. Website members, comment. We'll we'll choose the most liked um, video to fucking for him to watch. I wonder. Yeah. You know what? We should do another high hiking, but Brown comes yes. with us. Yes. Okay. You won't be able to get high though. So you'll just hate it the whole time. Can, still, that would be very comedic. Yeah. You can do some ketamine. Oh, also, just briefly on that video, the Jackson Julian dinner date. I wish we we just did <laughs> one minute of footage at the end of vlog style of us three cleaning the house <laughs> because fucking Jackson and Julian classic yeah. straight away. Jackson, I understand. He's the talent. He came. Julian's part of the team. He was, <laughs> he was not. He so was, he left. He was a paid away. member, wasn't he, at that point? He was full <laughs> he was time. Done. And yeah. holy shit, that was a tough job. That house, like you can watch it, you cannot smell it. Oh. That house. Wasn't that was, surf streaming in there? I had to, oh, fucking, yeah. I had to live yeah. there. Dude, it was the most bizarre, fked up smell mix of vomit, piss, Which takes shit, me back to the camera. Whoever had the camera, imagine. I think, was struggling oh, dude. with the smells. Yeah, look, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's our most intense, gross video. 
yeah. by far, I would say. I have seen reaction videos from fans from that video like ages ago and yeah, I, f- I feel you. Uh, and, and and split the fans, a lot of people are like, this is like way too much. Yeah, some people didn't like Do you think you lost anyone? Uh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, we had a new filmer that day. Did, Did we? we? Yeah, remember? Yeah, it was a new guy. What was his name? Josh, was it? Josh. Was that Josh's I mean, first I mean, time? I see Josh again. No, not Josh. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was Josh, no, yeah. but it was a different oh, Josh. I did too. see that guy running yeah. around. Well, he never came. He didn't come back. No. Nope. <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> That's the best part of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is good. That adds a good cherry yeah, on the top. Yeah, fuck. You should watch that one, guys, if you haven't already. Well, you know, if you if you're into the gross shit, let's let's see if we can get some higher scores from him. I reckon maybe a, one of the pain videos, or maybe even a sketch might tickle his fucking. Pains and sketches. What'd you give that one? Sorry, I missed the score. Six out of ten. Oh. It's too scat porny, man. I reckon that, we'll that's give a Jim and Calvin your way. And I see accept. What you think. I was going to give it five. Scat. I don't accept porn because it's not sexual. No, not at all. It's scat. It's, it's gross. not porn. No. It's Is scat. It? Wait, so it's just scat videos? You're yeah, right. Scat's where it's at. That's our tag, cunt. <laughs> yeah. You know the one I wonder if Brown might like? Not not for now, but the um the mic do microwaves work? Do microwaves oh, yeah. do? That was fucking yeah. funny. That was a yeah, I don't know if he likes it. I don't know him. if he likes like that. Because the banter, that kind of banter, I don't know if he likes that much. Yeah, maybe. Well, you gotta try it out. Yeah, yeah, we will. So you just comment what you want Matt to yeah, watch okay. next, everybody. And that is the reviews all fucked. All right, guys, so we're going to do P.O. Box next week. We've been going for way too long, so we've got one crack at this prank call. We're meant to be banking these prank calls, but we haven't been. We apologize. Let's hope that this prank call works. All right, I'm going to call a movies as Darren and pretend that I'm in the movie and say that it's a shit movie and that I want a refund oh, man. during the movie. That is fuck. Thank you for calling Hey, yeah, get out, Dana. Um, I'm just in um one of um the movies um here um Guardians um of the Galaxy and that and look, it's it's not um it's fucking it's not good at all. Look, I thought like watching the reviews and that like that it'd be way better, but look, I'm sitting in here and look, it's just look, it's just fucking shit. So I'm wondering look, if I leave now, look. Can I get like a refund or something? Because that's like not really fair that you're going wasting my time and that saying it's a good movie. But like, it's like, this is like fucking, the first one's like way better than this. Have you seen, have you seen this one? No, I haven't. Yeah, it's like fucking so bad. Like, I like, I'm pretty sure someone's already walked out. So like, yeah, can you use like, and fucking shush me. Keep your fucking face in the front, you fucking dopey bitch. Yeah, I can't. I could seriously. I can't sit through this. No, I can't. It's like fucking turn around at me now. Like, oh fucking, you're telling me to shush and shit. But like, like look at it. Look at the fucking movie, everyone. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, what the fuck is this shit? Look, that acting can't. I can fucking act better than that on fucking drugs can't. <laughs> she's, coming, she's coming straight to the cinema. I'm just, oh, just sprinting into the yeah. cinema. <laughs> she's probably the only person on right now. Dude, that was so good. <laughs> oh, giant, giant. <laughs> we have an emergency. And now she's sprinting yeah. to the cinema. Do you reckon that's enough for a uh, prank call? Try call back and she just call be like, like Dakota oh, no, I'll call again. I'll, I'll call, call, I'll call, I'll call you again. What's your angle here, though? I'm just going to be like, why'd you fucking hang up on me then? I'm coming. Oh, this is- Thank you for calling Reading Cinemas. You're speaking with Dana. Yeah, Danny, he's just gone hung up on me. Like, I'm just trying to talk to you, trying to figure out, like, if I leave right now, do I get a refund or not? You didn't even give me an answer. Sorry, what session are you in? I don't know what what I'm um, Guardian of the Galaxy or whatever it's fucking called. Yeah, what time? Seven thirty. Seven thirty session, like I don't know what cinema number or whatever, but like I've been sitting here for an hour. Uh we don't issue refunds after thirty minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake, you got to be joking me. Well, can I come out and get, like, a free, like, Coke or something or, like, free popcorn and that? Because, like, I've got people in here now, like, all standing up, like, huffing and puffing at me and that. And it's like, everyone knows it's a shit movie. And I'm just, like, sitting here, like, fucking, like, what the fuck's going on? Wait, I'm, I'm going to wait another hour of my life, like, sitting here, and you fucking cost me, like, fucking $30 or whatever it done. So can I come out and at least get a free can of Coke or something? Uh, no, we don't do refunds after 15 minutes of the movie. Right, 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 or right. Or anything like that. 
Nah, look, I respect you coming back at me now and being like, all right, laying the law down on that. Like, that's um, that's respectful, like, and I've, I've sat back down now, um, um, all quieting down and shit, but, like, I'm just letting you know, like, he's got to maybe, like, put, like, a disclaimer on, like, the poster or something and just say, like, just let people know, like, this fucking movie's, like, fucking shit, like, it's fucking bad, you know what I mean? Like, 30 bucks a lot of money to be spent around with fucking movies and that shit, do you know, do you know what I'm fucking saying, right? Our 7.30 session is only $18 for a ticket. Not yeah, I've got. To, I'm here with my mate, and when, when, and whatever, whatever it fucking was, I don't know. I just scanned me fucking car. What I'm saying is, it's expensive, right? And I'm saying you've got to let people know if it's a shit movie. All right, I'll calm down. Hang on, I'm just on the phone. Fuck me. All right, anyway, Davina, what's what, Davina? Was it? Uh, yeah. Look, it's. You can't be talking through the movie either. Like, if you're on the phone during the movie, it's a bit disrespectful well, what, what, to everyone What do you expect else? me to do? I can't oh, just bloody walk out here and then lose all my money and lock, lock and if just you, have If you have on. any problems with the movies, you can come to front and talk to us, but please don't be disturb, disturbing other people during the session. Yeah, well, it's, it's, what it, just, I'm not disturbing. I'm disturbing a fucking piece of shit on a screen, brother. <laughs> It's like, it's not much going on, so there's not much to disturb, is it? Am I fucking right or what, fellas? Oh, face to fucking front! Face to front, stop staring at me! All right, Davina, I'm going to come out and get a free can of car. I'll come back in and I'll calm down, all right? I'll calm down, everyone! I'll fucking calm down! You respect me, Davina, I'll respect you, all right? And I've got your back now for life. We are blood together. We are sewn together okay. at the soul. Do you understand me? I'm going to come out and get us, and we are going to have a can of coke, and we're going to talk through, and everything's all good. I'll quieten down, I'll come back in, and we are sewn together by the Southern Croft star spirit in our heart and soul. Do you understand that? And I mean it. Southern Cross, till the day I die. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Okay, she's gone. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was fucking gold. Imagine dude. if we had enough time in the podcast where we could go to the cinema now and then oh, I dude. could be Darren and come out and pretend oh. that I've just done that. Man, we should do that again. Dude, oh. and do Wait, that. Let's do that on heaps of cinemas. That is fucking gold. <laughs> Even like different characters. You, you could do like fucking um, Margaret. Screaming Lady. Yeah, fucking... Yeah, oh, imagine Margaret Albert again. Fine. Oh. Yeah, Margaret will be so Is it Albert bad. Fine? Arnold Fine. Yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, Margaret. Margaret would be amazing. Imagine her, like, getting angrier and angrier. Yeah. Oh, oh dude. That Very. was epic. Very good. All right, guys. That is the end of episode number 12. Don't forget to like us. Like us and tell your uncle about everything that you saw here. And don't forget that Matt is a single fish and wants you. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. The best. We're 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 the best. We're